Since it's the season of fall, I decided we are going to do a ton of fall looks. It just matches the seasons. But if you have preferences towards your shimmers or browns, just these tones naturally, you're really going to like this look that I'm doing today. So here are my shadow colors. And then I'm actually going to be using this dark brown multi-purpose. I'm going to be using it for my eyebrows along with doing a little bit of outer corner darkness to really enrich that eye look. So I placed that in a separate compact just so you could see the colors a little bit more easily along with I have my double-ended brushes to make this super quick. What I love about these brushes is you just flip back and forth. They apply your cream makeup beautifully and my skin is all prepped, ready to go. You're actually going to see how well this covers some blemishes here. I tried a new facial oil that my skin didn't fully agree with. Usually the one that I use um, and love, I just, I ran out. So I tried a different one and so I'm kind of paying the <laughs> the price for the switch up on that but here is my palette so the cream foundations and then I have the bottom side all of my eyeshadows and you can tell I you know plucked a few out to place them in a separate compact so you can actually see that look and how easy it is all right so let's begin with this is the highlight color aka foundation we just call it highlight because we are going to be covering and brightening the skin and in the areas where we want coverage and for it to be brighter. So now what I like to do is I actually just like to do some pounces and I like to apply my color to see how much I actually have on the brush and place it on the places where I intend to have coverage. So that way I'm not over applying my makeup. Then I go in, not re-dipping, and I start smoothing that out. And you can see how beautifully that actually went right over, blended so nice with my skin and those blemishes taking that redness away. But this is all without having a cakey makeup look. And I am all about teaching you the simplest, fastest way to do your makeup without making it complicated. So that's what you're gonna find here. You're not gonna find a million ways to apply your makeup and use this blender and that. We are going to make it so simple. As you notice, I just used my brush. Now I'm going to go into the other brush that I use. This is the detail brush. We are going to chisel out the cheekbone here and we're going to give that face a little bit of lift. Now the difference between our contours is that they actually have more of a cool tone versus a lot of people use bronzer. I like more of a in-depth look and this is, you can go by preference, but look at how it just kind of lifted and chiseled that cheekbone a little bit more. Bronzer is more warm and so this is actually going to give your face dimension, but without looking too beachy, maybe you could say. Not that there's anything wrong with the beachy look, but I, um, sometimes some people just, they don't want to have that bronzed glow all the time. And then just to soften any lines, I go back, I didn't pick up any product with my brush. However, I just kind of softened out that line. So this was the contour that I used. It's a little lighter for my cheek and my forehead color. Now I'm gonna go into this darker one and I am going to line my lips here. And I should have did my lip contour, excuse me, my lip plumper, very first thing, but I get so excited to start my video and then I forget. So nothing crazy, but I am lining my lips and then kind of softening that outer just so it doesn't look too dark. And then I'm going to use my Cell Proof Lip Plumper. This is my absolute favorite. You're going to see how it brings color to the lip. 
you can feel all the tingles and stuff. I, I actually enjoy how it actually feels. Bringing all that blood flow to the lips, you get some color and then some extra fullness. So taking that same end and that same dark color, I do, and this nose contour and lip contour is a bonus. If you, if it's just not your thing, that's okay. So keeping two lines super close together right on top of that nose, I put my two contour lines, take my pinky, go into my highlight color, just to put a little bit more color right down the center. And then again, I pick up my one brush. I'm not applying more product and I'm just going to lightly soften that out, making sure I don't blend the contour line away because I place it there for a reason, but I just don't want it to look like I have two dark lines straight down my nose. All right, we are moving on to blush. Because of my shirt colors and the eyeshadow colors I chose, I'm actually gonna be mixing two blush colors. And this is what I love about our product. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheek, a little bit goes a long way. You can decide to use your finger, you can use your brush, whatever kind of suits you. And I'm going to just softly blend out that color. And then I'm going to go into this Madrid color because you can see how I have the kind of that darker color. I'm gonna just put just a tad more on there and then soften that out because I want, I do want that color to actually really pop. And then I'm gonna take that Madrid color and again, blush is to your preference. I have naturally rosy cheeks, so I really like to pop those cheeks. All right. Then we're going to go into our highlighter. You can see it's literally one, two, three, four. You are first going to do your foundation color, then your contours, number two, number three is your blush, number four is your illuminator. Okay, so, and I feel like I just need a little bit of extra coverage down here where there's some skin imperfections and there we go now it is time to set so i am going to take my setting powder we have a vanilla dust setting powder however i have my compact so full of beautiful colors to practice eyeshadows with that i just keep a little powder on the side you can use your favorite your favorite powder, translucent powder. So we're not changing the color of our skin. And you can see I'm just lightly tapping that where I might get oily, but I'm actually leaving my cheeks alone because I want that natural dew and glow to the skin. All right. I can feel the lip plumper kind of working its magic here. I'm going to add a little bit of color. You can use your blush as a lip color. I like to use something with a little bit more um, silk to it. So it just depends. Some of these blushes are more matte and then some have a sheen. So since these two colors are matte, I would put, if I use them for a lip color, I would then put like a chapstick or something over them. All right, so we're done with this side of our palette. Easy peasy. Now I would take, typically just flip open to the bottom layer of the palette to do the rest of my look, but I actually switched it so you could see these colors without there being so many colors to stare at in my palette. But I wanted to show you here these colors. And then this color is Trust. I'm actually going to use that because I have naturally darker roots. I'm going to use this color to go into my brows and just fill them in a little bit giving them some more dimension and fullness. If you're a big brow person, you can use your brow wax, you can use your contour to create eyebrows. I just traditionally like to 
fill in and then straighten out what I already have. All right, next step, you're going to use your favorite type of eye primer. This one's Urban Decay. This one is like my tried and true. I've tried so many and my eyes still crease. So, and my shadows last all day. And I kind of place that. You can see how I'm going a little bit above the crease. That way the eyeshadows stay where I place them. So then I have my double-ended eyeshadow brush. I actually have two because I use one for lighter colors, as you can see, and then I use the other for the darker colors. I am going to start going in with my crease color just to get that all set up here. So I kind of pat it in that crease with my eye open so I'm getting some color above so you can actually see the color. Then I go in with my circles and rainbow motion here. And then I do a little bit of that warmer color underneath. And I will have all of these colors linked in the description below. So if you absolutely loved this look, you can go ahead and snag the color palette. And of course, if you want a color match to get your proper contour and highlight colors, blushes and eyeshadows are a la carte your preference of colors, but I can help build some of those as well. Okay, so see when I open my eyes, you can see the color and how large it made my eyes look. I am going to come in here with that same color trust. So again, multi-purpose. I'm going to take that same line brush and I'm going to come in and use it as my liner color, giving myself just some depth right at the base of the eye there at the lashes and kind of arching up here in the corner like a little wing, nothing crazy. Okay. And you can see here like how I feel like I got that little bit of color just a little too far down. You can take your brush and I'm not even adding any product to it. I'm literally just cleaning up that line a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to try to make those match just a little bit more. All right. And then I'm going to take that brush and I'm just going to soften it a little bit. Not adding any, any eyeshadow color. I just want to soften that out. Now taking this dense end, so I'm just flipping it over. I am going to go into this color here, which is going to go so beautifully with my shirt. And I am going to fill in the lid part where I do not have any color all the way up to that inner corner. So you don't want to go over a bunch of your other eyeshadow colors. You want them to marry together, but you don't want to exactly take this warmer sparkle color all over that matte dark outside that you did just because you'd have way too much shimmer going on. So we wanna keep any shimmers on the lid and we want the mattes on the outside. Now I am actually going to take my finger. I'm gonna use my pinky finger because I'm going on the inner corner. We're gonna use this color, Angel's Landing, right here and get a beautiful inner sparkle shimmer. That's where, yeah, see you have to be careful. But the reason why I use my finger is because these shimmers actually, I feel like stick a lot better than using the brush because then they get even more flaky. However, trying to record this and not being very close to the actual mirror, I got a little low on my sparkles, but look at how pretty that inner corner is. Now taking the fluffy end, this is always and forever my upper brow color. I love it. It just adds a little shimmer to connect your eyeshadow look so you're not like in a matte 
blank space <laughs> above your shadow love, but it's not too much shimmer if you just do a light little tap, but it connects, connects the look there. All right. Last but not least, we're going to put our mascara on. And if you're newer to eyelash curlers, my tip is to just lightly go at the base and work your eyelash curler up your lashes. And you do this before you put your mascara on and just nice little presses. You don't have to squeeze hard. You just want your lashes to have a little bit of bend. And I am going to pull my mirror a lot closer than what it is <laughs> just to do my mascara. I know it's kind of boring watching people do their mascara. Okay, so I am just bringing my mirror closer to do my lashes a little bit easier. Someday I will have the lashes already on. I love the concept of the five to like 10 day lashes that you can do yourself to get a beautiful look and not have to take time doing your mascara. I love my lashes, especially from using my liquid collagen. I have beautiful lashes. I don't need to do like any extra serums or anything, but there is something to be said about the convenience of having those at home lashes done like once a week. Wouldn't that be nice? It would definitely save you like two to four minutes from doing your mascara if you are as picky as I am doing your mascara. I just don't like clumpy lashes. I want them to still look natural, but giving my eyes a lot of dimension. All right. And I'm so excited to show the final look here with the lashes done and everything. And I love this darker outer eye. I haven't done that in a while. I've been going so simple for summer, usually a main color in my crease, a sparkle color on my lid and my drift on the inner corner and brow. And this is really pretty. I love how it accentuates the, the eye so much. So you kind of get a little bit of that cat eye, but it's not so intense. I absolutely love that. It is soft yet pretty. And you can see how I just have a, a more natural look, but very well put together. So you can see how easy it is to get that dimension from the contour, looking at how, how soft that contour is because it's the right color, having the blush and the mascara, having, I personally love to be a little bit matchy matchy. I think it complements everything that you're doing with your outfit to your eyes and blush and it really truly flows. So again, if you love this concept, you want to learn easy makeup, you saw how quickly I could actually apply it if I wasn't recording a video. You can do this look literally in 10 minutes. My goal is for you to feel beautiful and confident and have the makeup exactly the way you want it in 10 minutes or less a day. And that is fully achievable from your cream foundation. And of course, your skin is even better yet, when you have your skincare routine that you love, your makeup then it goes on even more beautifully when you are very proper with your skincare routine. So I can help you with anything, skin, anti-aging, aging gracefully, your makeup, and we will get you set up with your perfect routine. If you want a specific color match, make sure you click the link. You can message me, shoot me an email at the link below for your color match. And then of course, shop a la carte at any of the sites. If you want to chat about skincare, collagen skincare, all of those things, I'm also a free via email as well. So 
please like and subscribe if you love this video. Share it with your friends if you want to share with them how easy you can do beautiful 10 minute makeup. Get a look just like this and um, keep rewatching this video to try it yourself and that way you can feel confident, feel beautiful, feel refreshed and ready to go each and every day with just 10 minutes of your time. Thank you everyone and we'll see you in the next video.